space on my phone. All right, just a quick little wrap up for Cooper's first week. Um, just to go over a few things real quick. The first thing that we've been spending a lot of time on is establishing a marker system. So marker is a word that marks a moment in time, generally that I like something that he does, and for him it's going to announce the arrival of food. So this week has been kind of teaching him the association between the two. And the reason I use that is so that we can reward the thing that we want and not anything that happens between behavior done and me going to get a reward for him. Um, so there's a couple different rewards and all of them they have different meanings as far as what we're expecting from him while he's doing the behavior. So we have yes, good, okay, and no. Yes means I like what you did. All you have to do now is come take something from me. Um, so I'm using that mostly to uh, to shape new behaviors, but I'm using it also a lot because he gets a little fixated on like other dogs and other people and starts to bark. So I kind of want to, when he looks at them, capture that moment. So, well, I see a dog or a person, and then I'm gonna get come get something really good from the handler me right now. Um, so I'm kind of creating new association, but putting the value on me instead of making them a really, really good thing. Um, and then we have good and okay. Those are gonna be more so duration markers, meaning I like what you do, keep doing it. So when I put him into a position, I will say good, and then I will bring food to him. Okay means the behavior's over. He's really trying to get my attention right now. Um, and then of course no means no. Um, for him, he has no control over his mouth. He's just doing all kinds of T-Rex things. So I really made it a point to teach him how to take food from me a little bit more gently. So a little bit of impulse control. So I want him to understand that my fist closed means that he can't take it. And then when I open my hand after the marker is given, he can take food from me. So that kind of allows me to prepare my hands and he's not biting fingers. Um, and it's also gonna help him understand what he's supposed to be doing within behavior. So I will open them straight. So like when I'm luring, Cooper, if my hand is like this, whoops, I dropped it. That was a bad example. He can come take food from me. Um, but if my fist is closed, yes, I want him to be a little bit more respectful. And so it, instead of him like chewing on my hand, so I can do all of this. Yes, to much more, come a little closer. Yes, good. All right, um, so doing a lot of luring to help him find where he's supposed to be in relation to the thing that I'm looking for, if that makes sense. Um, hi. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. So I do a little bit of luring to get him into his new behaviors. Yes. Very good. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. So with the yes marker, I want that to be really exciting for him. So I'm trying to, instead of just smashing food into his face, I want to kind of keep my hand moving a little bit. So it's gonna build a work ethic and an energy into behavior. Um, and it's gonna add value to the thing that I have to offer. So even if we're in a situation where there's really exciting things and food is kind of lower on the totem pole, um, if I have that little element of play, um, chase, chasing the whatever I have to offer, it makes it more exciting. So, um, out, wait for me, Cooper, yes. So I can keep it moving and see how he gets much more excited than just hear the creep and smash into his face. Yes. But I'm really happy with how much more polite he's being about taking food um, because he was very painful initially. Yes. Good job. Uh, he was just shoveling my whole hand into his mouth and chomping down. His little teeth would go under my fingernails. No fun. Uh, we're working on for sit and then we're starting his down blood. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I'm not doing too much with duration just yet. I want to make sure he understands what I'm looking for before I start focusing on the boy commands and having him be in behavior for too long. Mostly because he's a little puppy, but I want to make sure he really understands what I'm looking for before I start putting all of that, that weight onto him. Yes. Good job. But he's super sweet. He's a, he's a good boy. Um, he's very motivated and he's learning how to be a little bit more polite 
uh, we're doing a lot of just taking them around people and dogs just to kind of teach them better manners. It tends to kind of bark and yell at them, and I think that's not not necessarily any aggression or anything like that. He's just alerting us. He's like, hey, I don't know, I do you come in peace, whatever. I don't know, uh, but he's just kind of excited about their presence and is vocal about it. So not a huge deal, but it can be a little bit annoying if you're in a situation where you don't want a barking dog. Well, wait. But I like that he's very cutely offering me behaviors instead of just jumping all over me, which is what he was doing doing initially. He was just jumping on me, biting on the leash, all of that stuff. And now he's learned that a polite Cooper gets gets a lot more than than a, a rude one. Good. Out. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email. I know it's not a super exciting email, but um, I do want to keep you in the loop as far as what we're doing. Um, next week will be a little bit more extensive. We'll start doing commands and getting him out and about around more triggers and things like that. All right. Boop.